What's going on everyone? It's Des again. Welcome back to my channel. To all my subscribers, welcome back guys. Um, really appreciate you guys watching my videos and supporting. Great news. I have hit that 1,000 subscribers yesterday and I'm closing in on the 4,000 VR. So well done guys. Give yourselves a pat on the back. If you're new to this channel, also welcome. Please do subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit that indicator bell so when you so you'll know when I post more and informative videos. So as we continue on with our trades videos, we're looking at the different trades that are available uh, to people who are interested in joining the Army Reserves. So in this video, which is one of my favorite, we're going to look at the combat engineers, the roles, and what to expect once you get back to your unit. So let's get into it. So who and what are the Canadian military engineers? The mission of the Canadian military engineers is to contribute to the survival, mobility, and combat effectiveness of the Canadian Army. Their roles are to conduct combat operations, support the Canadian forces in war and peace, support national development, provide assistance to civil authorities, and to support international aid programs. Combat engineers' responsibilities encompass the use of demolitions and landmines, the design, construction, and maintenance maintenance of defensive works and fortifications, urban operations, including hostile room entry, breaching of obstacles, establishing and maintaining lines of communications, and the use of assault bridges. They can also provide water, power, and other utilities. They can assist in fires, uh, aircraft crashes, and all types of rescue services, the use and disposition of hazardous material operations, and to develop maps and other engineering intelligence. In addition, military engineers are experts in deception and concealment, as well as in the design and development of equipment necessary to carry out these operations. The official role of the combat engineer is to allow friendly troops to live, move, and fight on the modern battlefield and deny that to the enemy. So there you have it, guys. That is what uh, combat engineers are. Uh, there are different types of roles that are available to you once you get back to your unit. And we'll talk a little bit about it. Um, so when you get back to your unit after you've completed your development phase or your DP1 course, uh, you're going to be put into a field engineer squadron. So most uh, reserve combat engineer units are uh, evolve around a field squadron, an administration squadron, and a training squadron. So as, as you've completed your, uh, your trades training, you're gonna go back to your unit and there you're gonna be put into the field squadron. Your, the field squadron is a fighting squadron within an army reserve unit. It can, a engineer squadron is actually broken down into uh, three troops. Uh, a troop in the Canadian Army Engineers is similar to an infantry platoon. Uh, once you get to your the field uh, squadron, you'll be put into one of two field troops. You will also have a support troop, but as a new engineer, you'll be put into the field troop. And that's where you're going to carry out your all your training throughout the year. So the organization of a field troop is broken down into a headquarters element, which you have a troop commander who holds the rank of either a lieutenant or second lieutenant. You'll have a troop warrant who holds the rank of either warrant officer or a senior sergeant. And then that is broken down into three field sections. Each field section has a section commander who holds the rank of sergeant. Well, the, uh, we'll have also a master corporal who holds the rank um, as uh, your 2IC. And then you'll have uh, sappers and corporals within the section. So a normal field engineer section you will have between eight to 10 combat engineers. Uh, your section commander will be a sergeant. Your two IC or second in command will be a master corporal. And then the remaining members of your uh, section will, will comprise of corporals and sappers. So if you do not know what a sapper is, a sapper in the combat engineers is equivalent to a private in the infantry. So within your, your field troop, um, you will be mounted in uh, MSVS SEVs, which are our vehicles that we use in the combat engineers, mainly for domestic type operations. The SEV stands for Specialized Equipment Vehicle. Uh, it's basically based on a uh, truck. 
and it it's uh be, it'll be able to carry your whole entire section so in the front cab you'll have your driver your start your section commander and, and a sapper and in the center compartment which will have the remainder of your section and then in the rear is where you can have all your your kit basically the rear portion of the uh sev is basically like a mobile workshop and if we're doing if we're doing types of uh training where we're going to be uh using assault boats then you'd have an assault boat and a mortar in the back of the sev so that is the vehicle we use in the uh, army reserve combat engineers so once you get to your uh field troop and you're put into your section you're going to carry out um, different types of training. You may um, continue on with the training that you learned over the summer when you were doing your trades training, whether it's uh, demolitions, you're using all the different types of tools, you're learning about search, route clearance, things like that, assault boats, or tactical bridging. So within that section and within your, your troop, uh, you will just carry out that training. Now, within a field engineer squadron, you may have uh, detachments of specialized trained engineers uh one one aspect could be a uh, cmd cmd stands for counter munitions disposable it is uh basically a course that's encouraged encouraged that every engineer uh gets the opportunity to go on to basically in your cmd course you're going to learn how um to identify any types of bombs rockets missiles that are either drop, launch, or fired, but fail to explode. Uh, on the CMD course, uh, you will be specialized into identifying, um, for example, if it's a, a mortar bomb, it's sticking in the ground, just by looking at its fins and be able to identify what type of mortar round it is, um, whether, or it could be just a missile that failed to fire and sitting on top of the ground. Now you are taught a whole bunch of different aspects about when you come upon unexploded uh, munitions. Uh, one of the training that you're taught is what we call uh, bipping. Uh, bipping stands for blowing in place. So if the uh, UXO uh, cannot be safely disarmed, you want to blow it in place. And that's what BIP stands for. So you're going to get learn all that onto that course. Now your unit may have a detachment uh, of combat engineers who are trained in CMD uh, CMD. Another uh, debt that may be involved uh, in, within your squadron is your recce element. Now your recce element can comprise of between four to eight combat engineers and basically their job as a recce element is to gather uh, engineering intelligence of uh, uh, bridges that are down, waterways that needs to be crossed, whether you want to put a obstacle in a roadway. Um, that's the role of your, your combat engineer uh, recce detachment. And basically they're going to go out and do all the gather all that information and plan and stuff and pass it on to your your squadron commander uh rope you is another um specialized role that the combat engineers have that's mainly towards the heavy equipment side of your squadron but you can go onto that course and get that qualification uh within the rope you element uh you're going basically learning how to make undrinkable water drinkable um, you will be trained on the new uh, ROPU systems. They're large ones, they're small ones. Um, all reserve engineer regiments will be getting uh, new ROPU systems in the future. So you may be put into that ROPU debt. Uh, you may be also put into a detachment that does and specializes in route clearance. So route clearance is basically using mine detectors to sweep roads uh, for mines or um, IEDs and things like that. You may be be put into a debt and that's going to depend on your unit now your unit may just uh stick with straight field engineer type training or they may have a little specialized debts within your squadron so those are some of the roles that are available uh or also another role is um urban operations so combat engineers are the specialists in urban operations basically we're the ones who need to breach doors, walls, buildings, and things like that to allow the infantry to go in and do room clearing. So combat engineers are the uh, subject matter experts when it comes to that. And you can go on a course like that. You may have a urban operations debt within your regiment. Like I said before, it depends on your unit, um, how they want to do their SOPs and things like that. So it's a good course to get onto. It's really fantastic. You're going to basically um, be taught um, how to... Uh, use use explosives to 
uh, knock down walls, doors, things like that to gain entry into that building so the infantry can go and um, clear clear the building. So that's just some of the rules that are available. There's so many things as you could get onto a, a basic mountain operations. You may have a basic mountain operations debt within your unit. It really depends um, on your unit and what they what they want. So there it is, guys. So that's the role of the combat engineers. Uh, a lot of the specialized roles that you may see within your unit. If you when you get to your unit, um, you will, like I said, you will carry on with your field engineer type training, and then. You can go away in the following summers and get some of those specialized roles all right also don't forget to subscribe okay guys um comment in the comments actually give me a big thumbs up if you like this video uh there were going to be more videos coming on all the different types of uh trades within the canadian army reserves uh equipment updates are coming up um, and things like that so i'm going to make sure i have lots of videos for you guys to see if you guys have questions yeah please do comment in the comment section uh get the word out let people know about my uh channel and I'm, I really do appreciate, especially the comments from you guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, it gives me ideas of getting uh, different types of videos I can put together for you guys. All right. So thank you guys very much for joining me. I'll catch you in the next one.